India's successful landing of the Chandrayaan-3 rover on the moon is encouraging some of its people to also grab a slice of it, literally. Now, several middle-class Indians, who may never have owned land on Earth, are looking to buy land on the moon. There are organizations and websites dedicated to selling property on the moon where buyers can buy an acre of land for as little as 35 US dollars, which is around 2,900 Indian rupees. The purchase often comes with a certificate of the land claim, a satellite image of the land, and mineral rights for a depth of 5 kilometers below the surface. It seems an affordable, if rather unbelievable, bargain. When Mohima Chakraborty, a 24-year-old from Kolkata, heard of these possibilities, she registered with the Lunar Registry, and last year, she gifted an acre of land to someone special. Hi, I'm Mahima Chakraborty, and this is my husband, Tanmay. Last year, I brought a piece of land on moon to gift him as his birthday gift. Or I always wanted to give such unique gifts to him. Suddenly, this idea popped up to my mind that let's buy a land on moon. I heard about this, that Sushant Singh Rajput also owned a land on moon. So I did a lot of research about it on social media, YouTube and Facebook. Then I can contact to Lunar Embassy through mail and they suggest me to buy a piece of land on moon. After I made the payment, they I received my documents and we feel very blessed. But this isn't a very recent trend. As early as 2003, Rajiv Bhagdi, a numerologist from Hyderabad, invested in Luna property after seeing an online advertisement. Three years later, his cousin Lalit Mohata decided to invest 3,000 rupees for two acres of land on the moon. Both believe it is a legitimate investment. 17 years hence, and after three Chandrayaan missions, Lalit feels the moon could be a potential retirement home. Then 2006 in my mind, I 3,000 rupees and I am earning very less that time, but I broke my FD investment of 3,000 and I purchased the land from the lunarregister.com. I got this certificate and which is defined the name of the place. We gave certain name, sea of rain, and I bought two acres in 3000 and I have taken this risk as an investment by breaking my FD and this certificate I saw to my relatives, parents and they think okay, that was okay, it was a bakwas, some this okay, then I told okay, okay bakwas, let it be. But it begs the question. Can one really buy property in the moon? Is this even legal? The UN's Outer Space Treaty of 1967, of which even India is a signatory, bans private ownership in space. Deepika J, a lawyer based in Madrid, who specializes in space law, says that no country or its people can claim any part of the moon as their own. No person or country owns the moon. The Outer Space Treaty from 1967 is like the Magna Carta for space. Um, as of August 2023, 114 countries have signed and ratified this treaty. It lays down the principles for how we conduct activities in space, and you can think of it as a set of uh, do's and don'ts. One important principle says that no country, and therefore its people or organizations, no one can appropriate any part of the moon, meaning claim it as their own. India is a party to this treaty and we are obliged to follow these principles even though we don't have a national space legislation yet. In the last decade, there have been some discussions on how we can make use of resources on the moon and this can be um, water, helium-3, uh, maybe even uh, rare metals. On this topic, many international space law experts have taken the view that while we cannot claim a part or any part of the moon, we can claim its resources. They draw parallels to fishing in the high seas. Interestingly, uh, the Indian space policy that was released this year reflects this principle by encouraging non-governmental entities, uh, which could also be private uh, companies in this case. Um, they are encouraged to engage in commercial recovery of these space resources while they can um, uh, own, sell, transport uh, and do what not with these resources, they will be obliged to whatever law will be applicable within the uh, Indian jurisdiction, but more importantly, respect the international obligations of India. It's possible that the landowners may never get to touch the property they bought for such a bargain. Rajiv, for instance, admits he may never go to the moon, but he hopes that his investment will at least go towards space exploration. This land claim when I had purchased, I never thought I'll be able to go onto the moon ever. 
but i did this as an investment for the future benefit of the mankind because i feel this investment of 7000 which i paid for the 5 acres land claim will open eyes of people can we that we can look at things beyond our vicinity we have to we can dream big and we will be able to even achieve them